Welcome YouTube, it's Matt here from HobbySportNZ again and I'm just coming up with a little bit of an update for some of the bolt action products that we've been working on. Um, this one in particular being the M4 Sherman uh, and this one is going to be going into my 1000 point bolt action force. And I went with a little bit of a different uh, colour scheme with this one. We're going to go straight into it. Um, this is done with all contrast paints and the contrast paints uh, we'll go through in a second. It was pretty easy to do. It only took uh, probably about an hour to do with those uh, those awesome paints. What I did was assemble it all up. The plastic kit is a great plastic kit. Unfortunately, I did snap one of the main guns off, so I just filled that in with a bit of black. But yeah, it is uh, it is an awesome kit. All plastic. This is the uh, Warlord official one. This isn't like a Rubicon one or anything like that. I decided not to glue down the uh, what's it called the turret. Just left the turret free, so you can pop that off if you need to. It actually did stick a bit in there, see that kind of gunk in there? Uh, just be careful of that with the contrast paints because it did actually stick. I thought I was going to have to break it to get it to um, to come right. So the M4 Sherman's I think are a pretty good points value. Um, I, I have only played with it once and it sort of got taken out straight away, but I mean, that's, that's just life. <laughs> so the paint job that I did for this was the contrast paints. I used Creed Camo for most of the green, really easy, and I used the Black Templar... Um, contrast black for the tracks and that just gave it a really light sort of a grey it's pretty hard to get in on amongst all this sort of stuff as well you need probably a couple sizes of um, brushes just to get in on those nooks and crannies really easy um, dry brushed over the top with sort of a what kind of green did I use the green was from Citadel and it was the um, Strachan green whatever that colour is dry brush straight over the top add a little bit of um, white just keep doing that and keep working up from there and got to this kind of texture here. What I also did was got some, what do they call that now? Oh, it's um, Iron Breaker, I think it's called. Uh, and just did some like little scuff marks you can see there just to make it look a little bit worn. For the tracks, I did the uh, lead Belcher, just dry brushed over that. And then also I did a, uh, what was it? Like a, a brown and, and the technique that I used for doing the mud effects is um, not particularly with this brush but with a thicker brush and I just kind of splotched dabbed it so you kind of get that prickly effect and made a really good job and and that just gives you a little bit of wear and tear to give it a little bit of extra definition through here I went I did about three colors and so it just really makes some of the colors pop I have done some water slide transfers and I've just been experimenting with that I'm Probably, I'm well aware these aren't really in the right places or anything like that, but I just put them to where I felt uh, needed a little bit of something extra. So I put one down, the, a US Army one down the back just to fill in that gap. Star on the side, star on the front there. And also the US Army slide on the transfer on the back. Plus the flag, stole a Space Marines Wolf one, and that's in the home run. So the home run, uh, pretty much everything bar the Space Wolves um, sticker all comes in the kit. And what you do is you will, um, you can either use a pair of scissors um, or use a craft knife and you cut the, like a square around the, 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 whatever it is, the sticker, put it in the water for about 30, 40 seconds, pull it out. And then what you do is you just um, put it up where you want it to be and you slide your finger across and the clear sticker comes off and then you leaves you with the, um, the, the back bit, uh, the, um, the paper part you just throw the paper part away then all you do is you just inch it around with a brush with the edge of a brush and just get it into place and then um, what I like to do is just go over with a wee bit of um, PVA glue really and just to hold it all in place so it doesn't wear and tear so these tanks are um, I think were probably predominantly the most common in World War Two uh, they're just you know relatively standard tanks uh, and I'm gonna enjoy playing with these I've got, hopefully got another couple to come as well. I've got another couple of uh, bolt action videos as well, just going over some troops that I painted up, and uh, hopefully we'll get to that at a later date. But I hope you have enjoyed the, um, this little look at the M4 Sherman, and uh, just to see what you can paint it up like. And um, as always, please remember to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and um, stick with me for the next one, and we'll go through some more bolt action. Cheers, guys.